hey friends welcome back to my channel in my previous video uh, I have explained about uh, the methods of project selection and uh, since the, the length of the video was becoming longer so I thought of um, creating another video where I'll be talking about various terms used for cash flow projections so in project selection method uh, I think you are quite familiar with this diagram which I have presented in my previous video so we have two, two approaches comparative approach and mathematical approach so in comparative approach we have these many uh, various uh, methods and uh, in mathematical approach we have completely mathematical approach with the, the various uh, mathematical formulas so uh, based on our comparative approach I'm going to explain you about cash flow projection terms terms related with cash flow projection for example payback period please pay attention because these terms are asked individually in um, PMP and uh, this is absolutely if you, you are really aware about the term then uh, it takes hardly I mean maybe about five seconds or ten seconds to get one mark or uh, the, I mean one correct uh, answer so payback period so guys payback period is length of time it takes to regain funds invested in the project so this is payback period length of the time it takes to regain funds invested in the project present value compares the value of future cash flows of projects to today's dollar what will be value for example um, it compares present value and says when we deliver this project what is present value of that project what we are going to get in the future so this is present value compares the value of future cash flows of the project to today's dollar then uh, it is net present value we generally call it NPV and uh, I, I forgot to mention the formula here it is present value the formula is future value upon uh, 1 plus R into N so this is very familiar formula and I think uh, you must be aware about this net present value or we call it NPV value of the project in today's dollar what is value of the project today I'm not talking about future I'm talking about today what's your value today then uh, IRR generally we call it IRR or internal rate of return discount rate when the present value of cash inflow equals the original investment present value of cash inflow present value of cash inflow equals the original investment that is internal rate of return okay then we have return on investment profits in relation to capital invested you invested some amount what is the return on that investment you have opportunity cost many times it is being asked what is opportunity cost opportunity cost is the value of project that was not selected or we can call it cost of the lost opportunity you had an opportunity to select the project but you could not select due to various constraint so that was that is opportunity cost so maybe uh, in, in some cases if you uh, really go deep down in the selection method you may need to consider that value as well this is important opportunity cost and uh, if you remember I talked about a scoring model uh, this is scoring model so I just try to create one uh, um, you know kind of example here so we have project A and project B two projects and these are certain methods I have applied here payback period A 17 month B 20 month so definitely it is going to be A because payback period is lesser in 17 months you have payback period benefit cost ratio or cost benefit ratio 1.7 2.5 so more is the cost benefit ratio that is selected so B is selected then we have a net present value $75,000 $70,000 definitely its value is higher so A is selected internal rate of return 8.5% 11.5% this is higher definitely good so B is selected and rate of return rate on invest, uh, return on investment 150% 110% so definitely 150% is selected so when we talk about a a a so three parameters are one by a 
two parameters are one by B. If we go for scoring model, A wins, so we have to go for project A. But again, that depends on various factors as I discussed uh, in my previous video, organizational asset, its capability, feasibility, viability, so many things are considered. However, uh, this is scoring model which you can consider. So this was all about the selection method. If you have any question or query, drop in comment box. Thank you. Subscribe my channel. Take care. Bye-bye.